Okay, so get this. Remember how the Victoria's Secret fashion show was like the event? Yeah. It was like must watch. Everybody was talking about it. It was huge. Well, it's back. It's back for 2024. It's back. And the internet is going crazy. There's so much buzz around this comeback. <laughs> so we are doing a deep dive into everything, going way beyond just like the runway looks yeah. to uncover what this really tells us about where the fashion industry is at in 2024. Yeah, I mean, it's more than just a fashion show, right? It's like a moment. Like a cultural touchstone. A cultural touchstone, yeah. And its return, like you were just saying, it really makes you think about how Victoria's Secret, as a brand, is adapting to, you know, a very, very different world than the one they dominated just a few years ago. You're totally right. Like, it makes you think, do you remember watching it back in the day? Oh, yeah. I do, and it felt, it really did feel like a moment. So, to see it back now... Mm -hmm. What does this comeback actually say about the fashion industry right now in 2024? I think there's this really interesting push and pull between nostalgia and reinvention happening right now. You know, you have these like iconic angels like right. Adriana Lima and the Hadid sisters. They're back and they're bringing that classic VS fantasy to life, which people love. But at the same time, you have Ashley Graham making her debut. That's huge. That's a statement. It's massive. And it represents a very, very specific shift in how we view inclusivity and representation. It's not enough to just include diverse bodies as like a one-off right. or a trend. It needs to be a core part of your brand identity if you're going to survive. And Ashley Graham's presence, it speaks directly to that expectation from consumers today. It really does. Yeah. And then on top of that, you have this like can't miss it moment. Kate Moss and her daughter Leela both making their VS Runway debuts together. Together. Yeah. I, I mean, come on. It's like such a fascinating dynamic to see play out, right? You have Kate who, you know, she defined that 90s supermodel image. And now she's sharing the runway with Leela who, you know, represents a very, very different look. Yes. And like a whole new generation coming up. And a whole new set of expectations. Exactly. It just makes you think about how beauty standards are always evolving you yeah. know what does legacy even mean in a world that's obsessed with what's next it's so true and you know what they weren't just there to be there right like their styling choices were so interesting did you get kind of a vintage vibe from their looks yeah yeah definitely like kate had that rock and roll like sheer lace and feathers thing going on yeah and then leela's look was almost like a personalized art piece you know it was yeah, like yeah. integrated into lingerie but they both commanded attention in their own way. They owned it, each of them. They did. It's almost like Victoria's Secret is trying to hold on to its glamorous past while also realizing that today's audience, they want something more. A hundred percent. And showcasing individuality, which we saw with them, that's a big part of that. Yeah. You know, it's a departure from that old cookie cutter angel image they were known for. You know? Totally, yeah. totally. And speaking of showcasing different generations and styles, the music choices for the show were so interesting. Weren't expecting Cher. Right. And alongside Lisa from Blackpink. Right. It was really interesting. Like, you had these icons, like Cher representing an older generation, and then current pop stars like Lisa. Totally, totally. It definitely felt like a very deliberate choice to appeal to, like, a much broader audience than they might have in the past. And it wasn't just the models on the runway, right? Like, huh? having those powerhouse women performing, it felt like they were saying... We're not just here for the male gaze anymore. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, music adds a whole other layer to the experience, yeah. and it definitely did feel like they were using it strategically to create a sense of, like, female empowerment. This yeah. wasn't just a fashion show. It yeah. was a statement. It really was, okay, I know we're supposed to be analyzing this, not just fangirling over it, but can we talk about the return of some familiar faces? Mm -hmm. Adriana Lima, the Hadid sisters, Irina Shayk. <laughs> Alessandra Ambrosio. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It felt like a reunion of VS royalty. It's such smart marketing for sure. Like right. They're tapping into that nostalgia factor, reminding people of the show's legacy, but also showcasing how these women have evolved. Right. These aren't the same angels we saw a decade ago. Right. They're older. They're wiser. Many of them are mothers, business women now. It's true. It really makes you wonder if they're trying to redefine what it means to be a Victoria's Secret angel. In this day and age. It's definitely a possibility. And speaking of redefining things, okay. we can't ignore the elephant, or should I say angel, in the room. Oh, here we go. The hottie prince lose returned to the runway after the whole Adam Levine controversy was a hot topic. Oh, it was a hot topic. Mm -hmm. 
Um, definitely a bold move on her part and on Victoria's Secret's part for having her back. Right. It's just a reminder that these women are human beings. They are. With complex lives. Totally. And their personal experiences inevitably become part of the narrative. Whether you agree with their choices or not, it definitely adds another layer of intrigue to the whole spectacle. 100%. And speaking of intrigue, did anyone else's jaw drop when Tyra Banks closed the show? Talk about an entrance. I was not expecting that at all. Read either. Her first VS runway appearance in nearly 20 years. Legendary. It was a brilliant strategic move. It really was. You can't overstate Tyra's impact, not just as a model, but as a businesswoman, as a TV personality. She is the embodiment of breaking barriers and owning your power to have her close the show. Come on. It was a statement. It felt symbolic, like... This could be a whole new chapter for Victoria's Secret. What do you think they're trying to say with that choice? It's a power move, right? Closing with Tyra, I mean, they could have chosen anyone for that final walk. Right. But they chose the woman who, like, helped define what Victoria's Secret was for so long. Totally. It makes you wonder, are they signaling a return to their roots, or are they embracing a more evolved, terrified vision for the future? Ooh. I sure. like that, terrified. Yeah, it's almost like she's come full circle. You know what I mean? Yeah. She went from being like the iconic angel to building her own empire with America's Next Top Model, showing the world that beauty and business acumen aren't mutually exclusive. Right. Now she's back on that VS runway, but like on her own terms. Exactly. And let's not forget, Tyra has always been a vocal advocate for diversity and body positivity. Like long before it was trendy, she was challenging traditional beauty standards. Well, so her presence in this comeback show, it just adds another layer of complexity to the narrative. It does. It really does. And it's like, you're right. It's more than just a nostalgic throwback. Yeah. It's a statement about where Victoria's Secret sees itself going forward. 100%. And for a brand that was once synonymous with a very specific, and let's be honest, somewhat limited definition of beauty, right? that's kind of a big deal. Like, it makes you wonder how much of this is a genuine effort to evolve. Right. And how much of it is strategic marketing, you know? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Only time will tell how committed they really are to these changes in the long run. Right. But one thing is for sure. They've got our attention. They do. This comeback show has sparked a conversation about so much more than just lingerie. Right. We're talking about beauty standards, female empowerment, brand evolution, even the power of nostalgia. It's true. It's a lot to unpack. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. This yeah. is why we do these deep dives. Right. To like go beyond the surface and really dissect the cultural moments that are shaping like our world. A hundred percent. And you know what? It's not just up to us to analyze this. What do you think about all of this? Did you watch the show? What stood out to you? Yes. Let us know. We're dying to hear your take on Victoria's Secret's triumphant return. Come on, spill the tea.